Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 2nd of 2022. Well, it is titled Lunar Occultation of Venus. So what do we see here? Well, not that long ago on May the 27th, we watched Venus rise early in the morning, uh, right before sunrise. And that's when it is the morning star when it is up just before sunrise. Now, of course, there's a lot of planets out there. But the special thing that happened on this day is that it happened to be very close to the moon. And in fact, so close that a conjunction occurred. Now a conjunction or in this case an occultation occurs when one object passes in front of another. So we can see this with the moon when the moon happens to pass in front of an object because the moon is very close to us. So it will pass in front of planets and stars from time to time. You can also have a planet pass in front of another planet or a planet pass in front of a star. So here we see a quick animation that demonstrates this. And we can see the uh, planet Venus as it is partially illuminated here. We can see that it does go through phases much like our own moon. And we watch as it disappears behind the limb of the moon that the moon passes right in front of it, blocking out its light for a short time. So this is something that can happen and that astronomers have studied and was seen uh, in various uh, different uh, certain areas that the occultation actually occurred in parts of Asia and in the Indian Ocean where you were able to actually see this directly occur. Now other parts of the world would have seen them close together but not quite occulting because you have to have that exact positioning in order to be able to see this. Now, as I said, we note the phase of Venus, and that was something that was very important to us in terms of our understanding of the solar system. We long ago thought that the Earth was the center of our solar system, and that all of the planets, the sun and the moon orbited around Earth. And that made a prediction that if you looked at it, it would have made a prediction that Venus should have had only a certain limited range of phases. And when we found out that Venus could have uh, a larger range, in fact, most of the time under the original theory, Venus would have appeared as a crescent. Uh, so we would have see, not have seen of larger phases like this where most of it is illuminated. And in fact, this case, you see it about 75% illuminated. And that would not have occurred under that model of our solar system. So when this was first observed by Galileo back in the 1600s, it was a very good evidence that at least Venus could not be orbiting the Earth, but had to orbit the sun instead. And it was over time we learned that not only did Venus orbit the sun, but also that Earth was a planet just like Venus and orbited our sun as well, as of course we understand today. So that was our picture of the day for June 2nd of 2022. It was titled Lunar Occultation of Venus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.